Mendez. He's the guy who rented the Doc's apartment on Marble Street. I better be careful. He might be the killer. Paco Mendez, the guy the Doc lent his apartment to. Not the kind of guy you take home to mom anytime soon. I'm gonna ask him a few questions. If this Paco is one of the buddies of Dr. Death, then I better watch my step. I've nothing against techno trance whatever music, but this stuff is really loud. Everything's gonna be alright. I find the guy, I ask a few questions, and then I get the hell out. Play school for the jet set. Not really my kind of hangout. Bartender. I don't know where I can find Paco. Still haven't gotten over my encounter with Dr. Death. Bartender. I don't know where I can find Paco. I'm looking for Paco Mendez. Do you know where he is? He's at his table over there. Does he know you? Not yet, but I have to talk to him. That's not possible. Mr. Mendez is asked not to be disturbed. Like his Sorry, lady. Sexy. Invited guests only. Sexy in the form of dumb way. Paco's pet goon isn't letting anyone through. I'm gonna have to think of something else. Maybe I could catch his attention by strutting my stuff in the back. I'm gonna have to rethink my strategy if I want to talk to Paco. I gotta find someplace to change. Time to play the sexy girl.
Maybe I could catch his attention by strutting my stuff in my back. I'm gonna have to rethink my strategy if I want to talk to Paco. I've got to find someplace to change. Paco's pet goon isn't letting anyone through. I'm gonna have to think of something else. I guess it's time to sexy up my performance. Oh, I need a good place to change. That'd be a pretty little mind medicine. Oh, looks like I flunked flirt class. He hasn't even looked my way. to sexy up my performance. Now all I need is a good place to change. Let's see if you can resist this. I say if you got it, flaunt it. Time to swing my hips and get a little rise out of Paco. It'll never work. Paco will never fall for it. Mind you, a guy who wears a jacket like that is capable of anything. Actually, I might do anything for a little bit of information. Pretty scary when you think about it. Okay, it's showtime for scumbag Paco. He's definitely gonna notice me this time. Feels like the whole place is watching me. But I suppose I'm not exactly keeping a low profile. Keys? How hard is that? It's your lucky day, sweetheart. The boss wants to invite you to his table. Hey, thanks for accepting my little invitation. You know around here, honey? I think I would have noticed you before. My name's Paco. Are you? Madison. 
I'm Madison. Oh, I like the way you move, Madison. You're making me all hot under the collar. Well, maybe we can continue this conversation somewhere more private. Oh, sure, baby. Yeah, come with me. <laughs> Just follow him to his office. This guy is truly revolting. Ugh! This is no time to get squeamish. Even if my legs do feel like they're about to give away. Everything is gonna be alright. I have a plan. I know exactly what I'm doing. Now just follow him to his office. Now just follow him to his office. making the biggest mistake of your life, Madison. I'm not getting a good feeling about this. No one knows I'm here. I'll be all alone if things get out of hand. Now just follow him to his office. Everything's gonna be alright. Everything is going to be alright. Now just follow him to his office. I go in, I make him talk to the gun, Get out of there before I get into big trouble. Everything's gonna be all right. Everything is going to be all right. So, welcome to my little kingdom. <laughs> I'll take that. Just get in the way of the good thing, sweet cheeks. So, show me what you can do. Take it all, slowly. Take it all off, baby. Uh, could, could we just talk first? Oh, no, we don't need any more talking, baby. I all talked out. Now, show me what you can do. I'm sorry, um, I, I think there's been a little misunderstanding. Look, look, uh, I I'll, I'll just go. No harm done. Another time. I think it is you who have misunderstood, honey. I'm tired of wasting my time. It's now or never, baby. And I never take never for an answer. The lamp. If only I could find some way to grab it. Oh, I know! I'll kick him, but you go, girl. Okay, act two. Let's hear Loverboy sing. Wake up time. I hope I didn't whack him too hard. If you call out, I'll kill you. Got it? Shit. What you want? You rent an apartment on Marble Street. I want to know why. An apartment? I don't know what you're talking about. Huh. 
<laughs> you haven't got the balls, lady, but you're going to know balls when I cash up with you. Fucking bitch! I'm gonna kill you! Boss? Is everything alright? Yes? Where's Paco? <sighs> I'm sorry, I'm... He can't come to the door right now. He's all, um, tied up at the moment. <laughs> oh, I see. <laughs> ah! If you value those prized balls of yours, Paco, then it's time for you to talk. What you doing? Stop it! Stop it! I'm only getting started. How about some more? Ah, I never set foot in that apartment. I gave the keys to some guy. He said he needed a place. He had money. I never set foot in that apartment. I gave the keys to some guy. He said he needed a place. He had money. What was that guy's name? I, I don't know his name. I swear. Oh, ah! Ah! Shepard. His name is John Shepard. That's all I know. I swear it. Ugh. There, that wasn't so hard, was it? I really appreciated this romantic moment, but I got a dash. See you next time, lover boy. Well, that was a pretty good way of getting a guy to spill his guts. <laughs> next time he'll think twice before he takes a cute chick up to his office. How about that? You didn't do too badly now, did you, girl? The name he gave me, John Shepard. Could that be the name of the killer? Guess I'll soon find out. This gives you a feeling. Time to get out of here. I've got a massive headache. I'm here to see Paco. Paco? There ain't no Paco here, fella. Get lost. Are you absolutely certain? He's in his office. 
Take the stairs over there. Garth, I don't hear you come in. A crazy beast came around here asking questions about the apartment on Marble Street. I don't know what you're doing now, and I don't want to know. But whatever that shit is, it's beginning to draw attention. Look, I know you kept me out of prison, but that fucking bitch nearly killed me. Everything you ask, I think my debt to you is paid. Hey, wait, what you do? Don't fuck around, man. No, 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 wait. I, I can still help you out. No, no, don't kill me. No time to wait. Gotta find Paco. Know the guy came to see him. Sorry, I don't speak cop. Watch my lips, asshole, because I got no time to translate. Did Paco know the guy? Yes or no? John. He said his name was John. A friend of Paco's. Always let him straight up. Shit, looks like a dead end. Road to nowhere. The suspect dead. Someone tries to kill me. On the right track, do you think? I'll end up a basket case if things keep going like this. That bastard nearly broke my neck. He... he could have killed me. Why didn't he? Hako knew the killer. That's why he was killed. Mm, it was too dark. It all happened so fast. Didn't have time to see his face. The killer may have left some clues in the office. 
I seem to spend most of my time getting the shit kicked out of me. He... He could have killed me. Why didn't he? His coat pocket. I tore it off during the fight. Two receipts from the same gas station. Interesting. Orchid pheromones. The fucking origami killer. Paco Mendes was no saint. His rap sheet reads like the telephone book. The killer was looking for something. Forty-five caliber semi-automatic. Forty-five caliber. Lipstick. Might be a clue. Madison Page. What was a journalist doing here? shakes and the cold sweats. Better get back to the hotel fast. Gotta go. Need to think about all this. A bullet right between the eyes. Instant death. 